Hey everyone, welcome back to another awesome PowerPoint tutorial. Today, I'm super excited to show you how to create an absolutely stunning scrolling timeline in PowerPoint. Before we get started, I want you to subscribe at FastPPT and don't forget to click the bell so that you're notified every time we drop another tutorial. All right, let's dive in. So first, we need to insert a circle and make it larger, super simple. Then we're gonna right click on that circle and then we're gonna choose format shape. We're gonna fill it with a gradient color. So you're gonna see four gradient stops here and we're gonna set the first one to white. We're gonna set the second one to a light gray and the third and fourth are gonna be darker shades of gray. And actually the three stops here are enough. So we actually don't need the second one. We're gonna move the first stop to the right and just roll with three. Then we're gonna change the gradient type to radial and we're gonna set the direction to center. Now, as always, You'll notice we do this a lot. We remove that outline and now we have this beautiful halo like ring. Next up, we're going to add some style with the Porsche logo in the left corner. Then we're going to insert a small circle and place it at the edge of the large circle. Then we're going to fill this small circle with a dark color and then remove the outline to make it pop a little bit extra. Let's add a shadow to this dot. Now we're gonna copy the dot and we're gonna place it nearby and we're going to change its color to a light gray. We're gonna keep copying and placing these dots. Two on the top half and then we're gonna do two on the bottom half here. And we're gonna select all of them and then use the align button to make sure we distribute them horizontally. So time to add a little bit of text here. We're gonna create a text box to the left of the dot and then we're gonna type the first car model that we're actually showcasing here, it's 718, okay? Type those numbers, 718. Then we're gonna choose the DM sans font in bold style and then set the font size to 44. We'll duplicate the text box, we'll make the text smaller, recolor it to light gray, and if it's too small, we can always adjust the size. And then we're gonna change the text to Macan, and we're gonna keep duplicating and updating the text with Cayenne. And then we're gonna move one copy off the slide for later. So let's keep repeating this process for the bottom half. We're gonna do 911. We're gonna type out those numbers. Then we're gonna type out Tacon. And then we're gonna type out Panamera. So I've got three sleek images here from the Porsche website that are ready to go, looking beautiful. And we're going to insert the images into the slides. Now, if you want to enlarge this image to cover the whole slide, it looks a little bit off. So let's make it smaller. And then I'm gonna teach you this really cool trick. So we're gonna click on the slide. Then we're gonna choose gradient fill. We're gonna change the gradient type to linear, and then we're gonna do a yellow at the top and a red at the bottom. Then we can use the color picker to match the edge of the image for each color stop. And now you'll notice that our image blends in seamlessly with the background. This is an absolute game changer of a trick, and I encourage you to use it in your PowerPoints too. So now we're gonna right click and we're gonna duplicate the slide. For the second slide, we're going to update each text box with the next Porsche model. We're gonna replace Porsche with Cayenne. We're gonna replace Cayenne with Macan, and we're gonna replace Macan with 718 and so on. We're going to add the second image in and we're going to duplicate the slide again. Then we're gonna update the text and then we're going to insert the third image. Finally, we select all the slides and then we head over to transitions and we're gonna choose one of our favorite transitions, the morph transition. And that's it. You'll notice that you've just created a beautiful scrolling timeline in PowerPoint that highlights the rich history of Porsche. Thank you for watching and please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more tutorials. We'll see you in the next one.